Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to <laughs> welcome to another vlog. Um, it is Thursday. I haven't vlogged in ages. Uh, I don't know why. I just didn't. I don't know. I, I did try picking up the camera a few times and I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so yeah, I haven't vlogged in a little while. Rafi, Rafi thinks he's my guard dog right now. Right, no, back on your chair, please. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't really kind of in the mood to vlog. Uh, <laughs> look at him, look at his nose. Um, <laughs> yeah, Rafi. <laughs> oh my God, does anyone else have the neediest dog in the whole entire world or is it just me? Um, yeah, I just wasn't really in the mood to vlog. So anyway, I am back now. I'm feeling more up for it. Um, so I thought I would come on and vlog. I think I'll just vlog today and maybe tomorrow, uh, depending on... I don't know how long this video is. Um, so I'm just sat up in my bedroom uh, doing some work and um, yeah, thought I would come on and have a chat. I had my smear test this morning actually. Hang on, Raph. Raph, this is an important conversation I need to have. So I had my first smear test this morning, like I've never had one before. Um, and I was a little bit anxious, like just because I didn't really know what to expect. Um, but it was absolutely fine. Like I can't even stress enough how easy it was. It just feels like you've got like a massive tampon, like massive is a bit drastic, but a big tampon um, going in you. And then they just kind of turn it and they put like a little brush inside you. So like, it's not obviously like a really pleasant experience. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's what, well for me anyway, it wasn't painful whatsoever. Um, it was literally fine and it was over in like a minute. So yeah, it was super, super easy. Um, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't scary at all. Um, so yeah, it was fine. I really recommend booking it if you um, have been meaning to and you're a little bit nervous or whatever, it was honestly fine. Um, I would also recommend wearing a dress because uh, if you're feeling a little bit awkward about the whole like having to like, you know, take your underwear off and lie on the bed naked, not naked, but from the waist down. Um, if you wear a dress, you just like feel that little bit more covered up. And so when you obviously have your legs up, you can kind of just like cover you up a little bit. Uh, and it's really easy to then obviously just get back changed again. I just pulled my dress like over me and then put my tights on. Uh, so yeah, I would recommend wearing a dress if you're feeling a little bit like uncomfortable um, about sort of being like naked in front of someone. Um, but it was absolutely fine, honestly fine. like just uncomfortable but not even really that uncomfortable at all so yeah here is my reminder to you to go and book your smear test if you need to um and yeah so i had that this morning um and then i've just been doing some work i've just literally been replying to some emails and stuff here um i need to do a little bit of housework i've got so much washing to put away like it's been piling up for ages and i'm at the point where i'm like running out of underwear so i need to put my washing away um and just do a little bit of housework um, I was hoping to maybe go on a run later, but I don't know. The weather's not looking great, so we'll see. Um, I might go on a run, I might not. Um, I've been doing this new thing where Sam is like doing a bit of like training for me. So he puts together sessions for me that we do together. So we did that last night, which was really good actually. Um, although we do have like mini arguments during it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've been doing that. So I don't know, we'll see how I feel. Um, but yeah, there's not really much to report because life has just been like same old stuff. And I think I just got bored of vlogging the same thing all the time um, because I literally wake up in the morning, I work for the whole day, finish work, I have dinner, maybe do a bit of gym and then I go to bed. <laughs> so it's pretty boring. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I uh, just have a few more emails and stuff to si sign, send. Um, I'm working on a blog post at the moment all about um, our trip to Milos in Greece. So I've had loads of people recently, I think where um, in the UK there's been like, you know, announcements or sort of like a roadmap of, of when we're gonna be able to sort of travel abroad again. So I've had a lot of people ask me for recommendations for trips. So I don't know whether that's because people are booking trips or whether they're just sort of researching. So um, I wrote up my Ibiza travel guide on my blog yesterday and now I'm writing up my Milos one. And I really enjoyed doing it actually because it was like, just revisiting like all those nice memories uh, just via my camera roll instead of in real life. Um, so yeah, this is my blog here. Um, and then this is my travel guide and it's actually like really long. <laughs> 
I've got so much in there. I've got like where to stay, where to eat, where to shop, the beaches, um, all the different areas that I love. And I've got loads of links as well. So you can click on everything and um, yeah, get the link. So do check that out. I'll link it down below if you're interested in Ibiza. As I said, I'm doing one on Milos now. I'm going to do one on Formentera um, and I might do a few more. So yeah, let me know if there's any places that you want me to do. Obviously, providing that I've been there, I can. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely making me want to book a holiday. Like looking back at all my Ibiza pictures, I was like, oh, I just love to be away right now. But I'm going to hold off booking anything for a little while, I think, just until things are a little bit more clear because I don't like um, the thought of having to like cancel something. Um, we already have like flight vouchers um, that we cancelled from back at the very beginning of the pandemic um, that we've not been able to use yet. And I'm pretty sure they're like expiring soon. So I need to get onto them and see if I can extend that. But anyway, I've spoken to you for seven long minutes now. So I'm gonna get on with a bit more work. Um, Raf's just doing his own thing over there. Um, and chat to you in a bit. Hopefully I go on a run or a walk or something and I can like take you out and about. Um, I got a couple new bits in from Zara Home actually, which I'll show you, um, so yeah. So this is what's on my to-do list today. I've just scribbled out someone's name because I don't want them to see it. Um, but yeah, I've got to upload um, some bits from my Zara haul, a um, couple replies, put away the clean washing, put the wet washing in the tumble dryer. I always do this because I, otherwise I just forget. So I always write it down on my planner. Um, that's some other content. I want to do some Pilates today. Finish my blog post and the smear test. I always put things on there that like, I know I'm doing anyway, just to give me the satisfaction of taking it off. So yeah, that's me today. <laughs> and right now I am just uploading some pictures into the blog post, which takes forever. And this little guy is right by my side as always. <laughs> just having some lunch, which doesn't look very appetizing at all, but I have halloumi, brown rice and beans. So I've just been out for a walk and I've just come home and I thought it would be a good time to show you the bits and bobs that I picked up from Zara Home. So they have so much nice stuff in at the moment. So the first thing that I picked up was this photo frame. Um, hang on, I'm going to put a light on. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, so I got this photo frame which is wooden um, but it kind of has like a bit of a gold metallic -y kind of running through the wood. So I thought that was really nice. It looks quite like antique. Um, so I picked that up. And then I also got this photo frame. I absolutely love these glass photo frames. I think they're so nice. I have them all over the house. Um, but I really like the shape of this one. I just thought it was a bit different. So yeah, I got that one as well. Sorry, excuse the noise in the background. Sam is taping up a parcel. Um, yeah, so I got that. And then in here is a little, uh, brass kind of trinket box thing this is actually for my sister i already have one of these um and i just use it for like keys and stuff like that um but it looks like this and it's really really nice kind of yeah brass box little lid and that's the inside and it's quite spacious actually you can fit loads of stuff in there um and it's my sister's birthday coming up and i thought she'd really like that so i ordered that then i picked up a couple of baskets so i picked up these little hanging baskets and i already have one of these and so i ordered some more because they're so good so i have one of these hanging up by our back door with all of raffi's poo bags in um just so it's like easy access for us to grab when we're going out um, or going out to the garden to pick up his poo or whatever. So yeah, they're really cool. Um, they just like hang up like so and they fit loads in. So I ordered um, another one to pop like his lead and everything like that in. Um, and then I have another one here, which I might put like his treats and stuff in as well. I don't know. I'm trying to make like dog storage a little bit 
prettier but it's kind of difficult and then talking of dogs i picked this up dog fur spray in absolute linen so i mean i don't know what this smells like but um if rafi can smell like linen then that's great so let me give it a spray and try it hmm that actually does smell really nice like i feel like the dog sprays that you normally get smell a bit like grandma-ish or a bit like babies <laughs> but this actually smells good so yeah i'll link all this down below i also bought a bigger version of those baskets um to put rafi's toys in so yeah if you're looking for a bigger one they do do a bigger option as well I finally done this has literally been sat at the top of our stairs for probably about I want to even say like a month which is so bad and I'm literally down to my last pair of pants so I need to organize it I don't actually know how I'll cope when I'm a mum and I have like 10 times more washing like me and Sam just create so much washing and I'm so bad at keeping on top of it but anyway I'm actually gonna go and now put all of this away so yeah this is really riveting content i know but it is one of those days today just like an admin -y organization days um in the gaps between work please excuse my very greasy hair i'm gonna wash it tonight but i was just um going through an asus order that i did because i um needed a couple of bits anyway and i'm also starting to think about um potential wedding um guest outfits uh for this summer if they go ahead uh, and I wanted to show you guys this dress because I think it's really, really nice and I'm like really impressed with it. So this is the dress and like I said, excuse the fact that I've no makeup on, my hair is greasy and I definitely could do with a little bit of fake tan. But um, yeah, this is the dress and I thought it was just so nice. It's really giving me like Zimmerman vibes. I love the like neck like this. I think it looks really like nice and elegant. Then it has big kind of puff sleeves um, with little buttons there um, and then it goes down into like a little flared skirt so it's like a mini dress um, it comes with this belt but I actually think it looks fine without the belt because um, I'm not that mad on the belt so that's what it looks like without which I actually think looks just way like more expensive uh, but yeah I just thought I'd share it because I know I've had a couple messages from you guys asking me for summer wedding guest um, inspiration and stuff because hopefully some weddings will now be back on uh, so I thought I would share it. It's a really, really nice dress and it's really reasonably priced as well. It was literally in the sale. Um, I think it was around £50 or something like that. So I'm wearing a size 8 um, and yeah, I think it's really nice. So this is a uh, bridesmaid dress try on COVID style <laughs> via FaceTime. Virtual. Virtual bridesmaid try on. Virtual, oh, does that make sense? Virtual bridesmaid dress try on. How does it look? Material nice? Look. Oh wow, that's nicely packaged, isn't it? That'd be good to travel with, won't it, in this? Mm. Shop like in the case. Wow. What? Oh, heavy. What material is it? Um. Is it like crepe or is it like silk? Mm, it's silky but not like... Silky. Not like satiny. Yeah, no, it's like, I'd say it's almost like crepe mixed with satin. Okay. Does it look see-through? No, it doesn't actually. Let me put it on. Well, it fits all right, actually. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? On the button. Let's see. Oh, wow. God, it's got a lot of material, it, hasn't it? Yeah, it is quite bridal. Do you think? Um... It's a little bit see-through. I've got black pants on. Oh, really? Why am I showing your vlog? Your vlog <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, wait. Let's go back Go back a little bit just so we can see, so the vlog can see. Yep, your camera work's not great there, hun. This is why I'm not... Don't do your job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Turn around. 
There we go. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So I'm really sorry that I didn't finish the vlog um, properly a couple days ago and I've missed a few days now, but today is Saturday and um, I'm just shooting some outfit pics for Instagram. So I thought I'd kind of show you one of the outfits and show you kind of my setup and stuff. Uh, Sam is off this weekend, which is so, so nice because he hasn't had a weekend off in so long. So it actually feels like a proper weekend, even though I'm doing work now, but we're going to finish soon and head out and take this little pooch for a walk. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you my outfit because I really like this one. So I have on this Arquette trench coat, which is really cool. It's like a cropped trench. I love it. Really, really happy with it. It's quite oversized, um, but I really like it. And then I have my white and other stories t-shirt underneath, my Alighieri necklace. And then I have my white Levi's on and then my black Converse. And I have my Prada bucket bag, which was such a good purchase. I love this bag so much. Oh, and look, the sun's coming in. We love to see it. The weather is being so weird. It like goes really, really gray and then um, goes sunny again. So yeah, it's really kind of in and out. But this is my setup for shooting. So, oh, you're probably not gonna be able to see because it's gone really sunny now. But I pulled this mirror from, well, I say I pulled it. Sam uh, took it downstairs for me because it's really heavy. And um, this is just a mirror from my office. I've moved the sofa around. Um, and then behind this mirror, I have this chair propping it up with a bag of coal to keep it like up, it's ridiculous. Um, this mirror is from Zara Home. It's really, really nice, I just bought it recently. And then over here, I have my um, softbox light because normally when it wasn't sunny, um, it was great for just giving it a little bit of extra light. So yeah, this is the setup. I've just got a couple more outfits to shoot and then we will head out, which I'll take you with me. So this is what I mean about the weather. I don't know if you can see that but it's literally hailing now and it was so sunny a second ago. So annoying. And this is the next outfit that I'm trying to shoot, but you can tell that I'm using like non-natural light and it just looks looks rubbish, which is really annoying because I've got obviously the um, softbox light there, but it doesn't look great. But anyway, the blazer's H&M, belt is Isabel Morant. This is my Bottega bag, uh, skinny black jeans just from Zara. And then these boots are Stradivarius, but don't think I can shoot this right now because the light is just crap and it will just look so bad. Um, so yeah, it's annoying. Okay, so the weather very much put an end to my shooting today, um, which is fine, is what it is. Like in the British springtime, that always happens. So uh, I've just got dressed in like my normal kind of weekend gear now, um, which is always just a sweatshirt and leggings. Like I just live for the comfort. Um, so I thought I'd show you this outfit as well. So my sweatshirt is from Aneen Bing. It says Los Angeles on it. You guys know I love her sweatshirts, they're so, so cool. And I actually have just ordered another one which has arrived, so I'll show you it. Um, and then I have this trench from Zara. This is a few years old from Zara now. Um, and then my leggings are Lululemon. They're the comfiest leggings ever. Um, and then on my feet, I have my New Balance. Um, I don't think you can get these anymore. They're quite hard to get hold of. Um, I managed to get them off the New Balance website, but a little while ago. Um, and then I just have Calvin Klein socks. And then on my head, I have this Zara cap, which I've been absolutely living in since it arrived. I really like the fact that it hasn't got like any branding on it. Hang on, I'm going to turn the light on because it's just... Mm, is that better? <laughs> Not really. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that it hasn't got any branding on it. So yeah, this is my outfit. We are going to head to the garden centre now and then take the pooch for a walk. Although it's not the best weather to be doing that, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you along with me. We're only going to the garden centre because it's on the way to the walk that we're going to do and basically it is our friend's birthday today and we totally forgot to get a present sorry um he won't watch this so it's fine um but the only place open to get something is from a garden center so i'm gonna try and grab something in there but yeah anyway i will chat to you in a bit do you want to say hello to the vlog you haven't been on it yet i have no you haven't today. no you haven't been on this vlog at all <sighs> say hi what up vlog are you excited to have the weekend off oh so excited Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is my Anin Bing parcel that ordered. I actually normally order Anin Bing off like either like Nest Porter, 24S, Farfetch, but this one I actually ordered from her site itself. Um, but I think I may have had to pay a little bit extra like for shipping because it came from, um, I think it came from either America or within the EU. I can't remember now. But anyway, I'll open it up and show you. So this is the jumper which you may recognise. 
I'm literally wearing the same one. But this one says Paris and the other one said Los, says Los Angeles. I know this is a little bit mad, but I am obsessed with these jumpers. I wear them constantly. And when I saw they had a Paris one, I was like, that's really cool. It's very like vintagey. And I saw Anine on Instagram had started with like cycling shorts and it looked really cool. So I'm gonna try and do that as well. I actually got this one in a large. I normally get a medium, but yeah, I know it's a little bit ridiculous, but I love them. So by the way, when I said we're going to the garden center to pick up a present, we're just gonna drop it off on their doorstep if you were wondering. I feel like I have to say it every time, like that whole like socially distance, of course, or just dropping on their doorstep, like not going in. Like, I don't know, I feel like I've got set because I know someone's gonna be like, you're not allowed to go in. Like, I know, I know, I'm not, so I'm not. I'm just dropping on the doorstep. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, let's go. I just asked these two if they were ready to go. And this is how they are. So you ready, yeah? <laughs> you don't wanna go out in the rain, Raffy Bugs. Don't blame you, mate. Me neither. <laughs> Aww, that's nice. <laughs> Is there room for mummy? No. Oh. <laughs> his um his coat is outside, I've just realised he didn't wash it. So he's gonna have to go without his coat. That's right. Oh guys, this is really cute. <laughs> And now the sun's back out. Like, what is this crazy weather? I also realized I haven't shown you these yet. So these are our save the dates. I've covered up the date and where it is and everything like that, just for the moment. Um, but yeah, I am in love with them. We've already sent them out um, to our family and friends and stuff. I originally said I wasn't doing save the dates, which you guys might remember. Um, but then with like everything that's gone on this year already, um, I kind of just felt like, sorry, I don't know what Sam's doing over there. I kind of just felt like um, people's 2022s, which is when we're getting married, was getting really booked up with like other weddings and, you know, holidays rescheduled and everything like that. So I just thought it would make sense to send out a save the date kind of as early as possible because we don't have all the details finalized for the invite yet. So I thought we'd send a save the date, even though I wasn't originally going to do it. Um, I decided to in the end. Um, so yeah, this is on handmade paper, which I'm just obsessed with is it called handmade paper I think it is or, or cotton paper something like that um, with this like gorgeous like torn edge and we have a little wax seal which has our um, initials on it and then we have to save the date for the wedding of Ruby and Sam and honestly it felt so real writing these and posting them out um, so yeah really really exciting uh, but yeah I thought I would show you we are off for walkies although it has just started hailing again so I don't know, we normally have Rafi in his little coat. Um, he's got an equa fleece, um, which is brilliant. <laughs> which is really, really good, but I forgot to wash it and it's filthy. So he is coatless today. So if it gets even worse, then I don't know what we're gonna do really. But he is. He's got his seatbelt on, don't worry guys. He is all safe. <laughs> Here's our food, looks delish. Sam went for a bit of bowl and I went for a sandwich and we got some halimi bites. Well. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, so, oh, I didn't speak to you much yesterday. Um, I ended up having a nap on the sofa and woke up quite late and just felt a bit like groggy. So yeah, um, I didn't speak to you much yesterday. As you can tell, the weather is raining and it's horrible and it's miserable. Oh, that looks nice. I know, I was just thinking that. Um, and we've come out for a walk just to try and obviously walk Raffi and grab something to eat, really. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely miserable. There's like no one really around. It's also Mother's Day today. Um, so I got a little card from Raffi this morning, which was nice. And some daffodils. I'll show you when I get back. Um, and I FaceTimed my mum. Um, and yeah, it was 
kind of nice, I suppose. <laughs> like, it would have been nice, nicer to obviously see them in real life, but there we go, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, it is just honestly grim. Let me show you. Yeah, I mean, this is the current situation. It's just minging, there's no one around. It's literally like deserted. Oh, and Rafi's doing a poo. Happy days, life is, life is fun. <laughs> um, I have offered Sam my umbrella, but he said he doesn't want it. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna see if there's any little um, food markets open maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's, um, it's a bit minging. This shop is so nice. I can't wait for the shop to reopen. Um, I don't know if you can even hear me through the sound of the rain, but this shop is like, just got the nicest homeware bits. Like all the dried flowers and look, all the vases and stuff. But yeah, anyway, let's go see what food we can find. The pizza shop is open. So we can always go pizza. Hey guys, so we are back now um, and we got some food. I got a pizza, Sam got a burger. I'll pop a picture on screen of my pizza. Um, I didn't really film much because it was literally like torrential rain and I just didn't want to get my camera out because I didn't want it to get wet. So yeah, I didn't really film that much. Anyway, we're home now. Um, just been sat on the sofa watching a bit of the football. Um, and now I have come upstairs to have a bit of a tidy up because the house is in a little bit of a mess. Um, I just feel like I've just been rubbish at putting things away this week. So yeah, it's in a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna spend some time sort of tidying up. Um, sorry I've been a bit of a rubbish vlogger. Um, I, I don't know, I kind of started this vlog and then it just seems like loads of things happened and I just was a little bit like rubbish at kind of keeping up with it and like picking the camera up and haven't felt like like super kind of positive this week either and I don't want to come on the camera when I'm feeling negative because then I just think that like I don't know I feel like you kind of pick up on like my negative energy and it makes like other people feel negative do you know what I mean so I haven't really wanted to come on when I've just been feeling a bit like down and stuff and obviously I don't want to dwell on it because um I'm aware that this has been like spoken about so much kind of on every kind of social platform um but obviously it's been a really tough week for women everywhere um, in light of sort of recent news and stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna sort of talk about it too much here because I have talked about it over on my Instagram and my Twitter. Um, and like I said, I, I don't want, you know, cause I, I think it's overwhelming and I think a lot of people have felt quite overwhelmed and I don't want this video to be something that, sorry about that, my camera just ran out of battery just as I was like kind of mid speech. So yeah, I was just saying, I don't want this vlog to kind of be um, something that contributes to that like feeling of being overwhelmed um, just I've been chatting to like a few of my friends this weekend and I know that a lot of a lot of us felt um, yeah just quite overwhelmed by it all um, and obviously while I am a huge advocate for speaking up about social issues and um, like using my platform to do so I, I have done that over on Instagram and Twitter and I I just think that there's no real need for me to add that sort of conversation into my YouTube too but I just wanted to ex also explain why this vlog's been a bit all over the place because I have been like sort of very up and down um but yeah anyway I don't want to dwell on it for too long as I said because I do like my vlogs to be like happy positive just nice things to watch um because for me I really use YouTube as just an escape like when things are getting too much I just love to like relax and just put on a nice video so yeah um, I, I don't want to, like I said, dwell on it, but I also want you guys to know that, like, it's something that really is, a, has been at the forefront of my mind sort of all week. Um, but yeah, anyway, um, I am going to get on with cleaning and tidying and stuff now. Um, and yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a bit, I suppose. <laughs> so sorry, there's just not much to show you. Like, I'd love to, like, show you, like, loads of stuff, but yeah, there's just not really a lot going on right now. So yeah, um, but I'm sure I'll chat to you sort of throughout the evening. So we've got the fire on tonight and every single time that we put the fire on I'm like oh this will be the last time for spring summer or whatever <laughs> and then we have to light it again so it was really cold so so I just pop the fire on so that is burning away it's honestly oh it's just the nicest thing um these are my daffodils that Rafi got me for Mother's Day <laughs> he has such good taste um so yeah he got me them for Mother's Day um and I've also popped a couple candles on. This is one from Neptune, which isn't focusing, but it's called Bronte. It's really, really nice. And then I also popped this one on from Zara Home, which is a Malfi Sunray, which is really nice. And then Rafi also got me this card, <laughs> which he's chewed. So yeah, 
um, bless him slash bless Sam for being thoughtful and cute. <laughs> I also did a little white company order um, probably a week or so ago because all of our diffusers had like run out almost at the same time so I decided to pick up a few more because I have one in the bathroom and then one in the kitchen. So I went for Lime and Bay in the kitchen which is just such a nice like citrusy um, kind of scent and I think it's so nice in like kitchens and bathrooms and stuff. Um, and then this was a new one from them which is Tuberose and Cashmere. So I'm gonna open it up and have a little smell because um, yeah, I was just really interested in this one. I had to get Sam to open it for me because I couldn't do it. Um, but it is really nice. It's, it's a lot sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. It is nice though. It's quite like, I don't know how I'm so bad at describing scents, but like kind of sweet, but kind of like soft at the same time. Like it's not like sickly sweet. Hmm, that's actually really nice. Yeah, really nice. I like that a lot. I'm gonna pop that in our bathroom. So this is the one I'm replacing. This is Seychelles, um, which again is a really nice scent as well. Um, but I thought I would try something different and pop that one in there. And then I'm gonna pop this one up here. I always feel like it's nice to have a bit of a refresh of scents as we go into spring. So I have finished most of the tidying and I've just popped a wash in so I'm feeling super productive and now I'm gonna sit down in front of the fire. I've just lit a candle as well. I'm loving the candles tonight. Um, and I'm gonna sit down with my diary and sort of plan my week. I also need to do some really boring admin -y things like pay our council tax, um, fill in the census, all that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do that now. I have spent the evening just doing some admin, a couple of emails, and um, I've also just been editing this vlog as well um, because it was meant to go live on Sunday, but I'm a little bit late with it, so sorry about that. Um, and I've also been doing some wedding stuff, and it made me remember that I didn't speak to you about like the bridesmaid dresses. So you saw um, one of my bridesmaids try on a bridesmaid dress over FaceTime. Um, we actually decided not to go for that and we've sent it back. Um, but I'll link it down below if anyone else wants it. It's from ASOS. Um, I'm trying to decide whether to go for white bridesmaid dresses, which I know might be controversial, but I really like it, um, or like a coloured bridesmaid dress. So we're just sort of trying ones on at the moment. Um, obviously in lockdown, it's kind of the only way to do it is just to do it kind of over FaceTime uh, and just sort of order them from sites. But hopefully soon when things reopen, we can go and try them on in person, which will be fun, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, so if you guys know of any good bridesmaid um, shops, please, or, or online stores, please let me know down below, because um, yeah, I'm struggling to find what I like, really. I just want something simple, um, kind of like a slip dress, but also like nothing too clingy or anything, just because I want like my bridesmaids to be comfortable and what they're wearing and yeah. So that's fun. And then I've just been doing um, a little bit of admin here. So I just got sent um, the, uh, how would you explain it? Like, um, like the decorations, kind of like the tables and the chairs and everything like that. So I have to choose from a list, which is exciting. And it's just like all these little things I didn't even think about. Um, but yeah, and then I have a call tomorrow with, um, our wedding planner. So that's exciting. I'm really excited now. And I feel like I wasn't really allowing myself to get that excited because of everything going on. And I didn't know, you know, I, I didn't even know if it was going to go ahead, but I do really feel quite confident that it will now again, fingers crossed. Uh, so I feel like I'm getting a little bit more excited. And I know you guys always ask me about like wedding plans and everything like that. And, um, I thought I would just show you a little sneak peek of the mood board that I have. 
um i don't I, like i really want to share so much but then i'm also like torn by the fact that i really want to um kind of keep things uh kind of private and then show you guys obviously when we do it i don't know i'm really torn but i thought i would just show you um like just sort of the dinner kind of setting ideas and stuff um let me get it up for you so i've been using keynote to do like a little mood board um so I'll show you now. So hopefully you can kind of see that. Um, so I really like the kind of gold, kind of rusticy look. I don't want to show you too much of the screen because you'll be able to see more um, over the other side. But yeah. And then I love all these like drapey fairy lights as well. Okay, that's all I'm showing you for now. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to show you more as we go on. But yeah, I don't know why. I just yeah, feel like I want it to be a bit of a surprise for you guys because I think that's quite exciting. Um, but yeah anyway i think i'm gonna finish this vlog here because it has gone on for a little while now hope you enjoyed the video i'm sorry it was a little bit kind of all over the place um but yeah i haven't vlogged in ages so it's kind of weird just getting back into it um but i'm gonna try and keep it up a little bit more consistently again now so i'm gonna literally pick up the camera tomorrow morning and start vlogging again but i hope you all had a lovely week and um i hope everyone's doing okay i know like lockdown is like really like getting tough but uh, hope is definitely in sight, fingers crossed anyway. God, do I want to say fingers crossed any more times? I feel like fingers crossed has just been like the saying of 2020 and 2021 for me and social distance, of course, as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.